So why am I doing this? This is not the right thing to do. So this is essentially a perfect coin. Well, let me just get another one. But ultimately, it's kind of looking like a stack right now. That they stack so beautifully, and you can just make a big tower with these. Hello friends, this is Weekly Bullion, and welcome to another episode. First of all, thank you for tuning in, and you're here today to talk about the American Silver Eagle. Well, I have a confession to make. I have started to stack American Silver Eagles. Perhaps the correct word would say collect American Silver Eagles. This is a 2006 MS69 American Silver Eagle. It's one of the first 150,000 struck American Silver Eagles of the year 2006. This is a Mint State MS69 coin. And I won this in an auction. And this auction took place several months ago. And once I got this coin in my hand, I was just struck by it. And I said, you know what? I think there might be some sort of crazy case for collecting American Silver Eagles Mint State MS-70s. And so I bought one and then I bought another one and then I bought another one. This is a first day of issue American Silver Eagle. This is an NGC slab MS-70. This is struck at the West Point Mint. And this is a first day of issue. And, you know, let me first say that, you know, don't do what I'm doing, okay? This is not the right thing to do for a lot of people. A lot of my ideas are probably crazy. And you should definitely do your own diligence when it comes to stacking your silver and also collecting any pieces that are numismatic. So why am I doing this? Why am I collecting all of these first day of issue American Silver Eagle coins, MS-70s? Well, I was watching a very cool video the other day and it was from Mississippi Metals and I'll put a link to it in the description above. And in this video, uh, Mississippi Metals talks about uh, a guy named Merle Horde who was hoarding all these American silver eagles, I guess behind his bed somewhere in the wall. And he ended up having like 18 monster boxes of American silver eagles. And I guess he passed away and uh, the family somehow discovered these and they sent them off to uh, NGC to get graded, and I think some ended up in a museum somewhere in in uh, the UK, I believe. And essentially, he had amassed all of these American Silver Eagles. And I heard that story, and it kind of resonated with me. And I was like, you know, these coins are intensely expensive. The premiums are high, and when you have them slabbed as first day issue MS-70, there's certainly more premium associated with that. So if your goal is to stack, it certainly doesn't make sense to have these. But in all the silver bullion, I still think personally, the American Silver Eagle is one of the best coins out there. And personally, it gives me a lot of pride to own it. It's created by the US Mint. It's a beautiful coin. These are the first day issue, they're MS-70. So this is essentially a perfect coin. And I've got it in a slab. And, you know, it's important to um, understand why you're doing this. And for me, I think the issue is, is that it gives me a lot of pleasure to own it. And so that's why I'm stacking these and collecting these. So I'm of the personal opinion that these MS-70s will appreciate over time, particularly the first day issue MS-70s. Um, if you look back at some of the early coins that are MS-70s from say like maybe 30 years ago or 20 years ago, a lot of these coins are selling for many, many hundreds of dollars. 
this one here is particularly special. This is signed and it's actually hand signed by Michael Gaudioso, who is the U.S. Mint designer for the 2022 American Silver Eagle. And so anything that's first day issue, it's hand signed by Michael Gaudioso, MS-70, is definitely going to be of value, certainly today, but even of more value, say 20 years from now or 30 years from now. So once I started with collecting these, I just couldn't stop. And I just kind of kept going. Uh, this one has a little bit of a different slab to it. Um, a little bit of a different cover. Um, you know, I personally kind of like these that have the, well, let me just get another one. These that have the American bald eagle on them, but, uh, but this one's also pretty cool too. And so collecting the different slab designs is also something that's kind of fun for me. These are fun to look at. And they're fun to count. So once I started buying them, I just couldn't stop. And it became a little bit of an obsession. I personally find it exhilarating to know that I'm amassing perfect coins. And it gives me a lot of pleasure to own these. But it's important to stay disciplined. You don't want to let an obsession such as stacking American Silver Eagle MS-70's first day issue, you don't want that to get you away from your initial goal of say stacking silver if your goal is to stack weight then you don't want to do this you want to continue to uh, stack your weight and only go for things that might have more of a numismatic value a little bit later on once you have determined that you're on track with your stacking goals so you only want to stack things that have more of a numismatic quality to it once you've realized that you're already on your way to consistently stacking with your goals of stacking silver. It's also important to know that you can't flip these for a quick profit, okay? These are coins that you need to just hang on to. You need to enjoy them for what they are. And ultimately, at the end of the day, they might, you know, I might just put these in a box and I might revisit it in, say, maybe 20 years or 30 years or maybe even longer. Or maybe, you know, these might just go away and, you know, they might show up for, say, you know, Weekly Bullion the third. Who knows? But there's cl a clear difference between stacking and collecting. And certainly with something like this, you wanna think of this as more of a collection. But ultimately, it's kinda of looking like a stack right now. Let me just zoom out a little bit. There we go. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think this is absolutely crazy to continue to stack these first day issue American Silver Eagles, MS-70s? I don't know. But what I can certainly tell you is, you know, don't do this. Don't just follow my lead. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Stack your own stack. Plan your own strategy and implement your own strategy. I just know that collecting these has given me a lot of pleasure. It's given me a lot of joy. And I'll probably continue to do it. But I'm also staying disciplined and every day, uh, every week I'm getting, you know, a couple 10 ounce bars. Every week I want to still go and get my ounce of gold and stay disciplined with that. But this is something that's fun. I like to stack these right on top of each other. The beautiful thing about these NGC slabs is that they stack so beautifully and you can just make a big tower with these. And like I said, one day, um, who knows, I might
might bring these out for my grandson. I might decide to revisit these in 20 years and just see what the value is. But until then, I'm just going to keep stacking them. So let me know in the comments what you all think. Am I crazy? I probably am. But is that what this is all about? Are we all crazy? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is this good? Is it bad? Do I need help? I don't know. Let me know. One thing's undeniable. I certainly love my American Silver Eagle. And I'm going to continue to stack these day after day. I even got this colorized version from SC Stacker. I won it in his auction. And this is a really, really cool coin right here. It's, and it's a very, very nice collector's piece. In the year 2001 is a year that I will always remember. Beautiful coin. Well, that's all I've got, guys. Stay blessed. Keep stacking. Please subscribe like the video please share with your friends and let me know in the comments do you enjoy american silver eagles as much as i do and do you collect american silver eagles in this environment today of high premiums and why that's all i've got for today guys until next time stay blessed and keep stacking